I have a confession. I knew nothing about Wisconsin four years ago. But now, I find myself occasionally opening the fridge, and suddenly I feel an impulse to grab the bottle of milk, and screw the cup, and pour the contents aggressively down my throat in a legendary Wisconsin act called Milk Chugging. And sometimes, my roommate finds me and asks, dude, aren't you lactose in Toyland? <laughs> and I look at him and say, so? <laughs> Unbelievable, right? <laughs> Thank you, Provost Shorts, for the warm introduction. I also want to give a special thanks to the King and the Mortgage family for establishing a wonderful scholarship that I'm part of. Thank you to fellow senior class officers and everyone for being here and watching online. I also want to thank my parents who are watching in Malawi right now for always believing in me. And I also want to thank all friends, professors, and family here in the US for always being there for me. Congratulations, class of 2021! I'm humbled and honored to be your commencement student speaker today. Today, I want to share with you my journey transitioning to UW and some things I've learned. On the 6th of August, 2017, my parents put me on a plane with only faith and prayers in their hearts. I had to fly more than 8,000 miles from Malawi to Wisconsin, a place none of us had ever been. I had never traveled outside my country before, and here I was, flying more than 20 hours to a different part of the world. I remember seeing my mom crying and my dad trying so hard to hold back his tears at the airport. I, on the other hand, I was super excited for what the next four years had in store for me. But deep down, I too was afraid. I was afraid because I didn't have any friends or family here in the US. The only thing I knew about Wisconsin was that it had snow and winter and I had never even experienced snow in Malawi at this point. My life had so many unknowns, and I didn't like that. Today, like most of you, I find myself in a similar position, about to graduate from one of the top institutions in the world. All those all-nighters, long hours in research labs, and countless quizzes and assignments finally amount to something. I'm feeling excited, happy, and accomplished, yet still riddled with worry about the future and the unknowns. I'm especially worried how I'm going to build a community and make friends in this virtual culture. Thankfully, because of UW, I've learned the best way to make friends and create a community is by opening up and being vulnerable with others. When I was struggling in calculus in my freshman year, I opened up about this to a classmate, and he told me he was struggling too. And to fix that, he was attending office hours. From then on, we became office hour buddies. And that's how we passed that class. So, fellow graduates, let's go out there and open ourselves up to people and be vulnerable. Because nobody has life figured out. And your problem might be the one that connects you 
to someone else. Another challenge I faced in transitioning to America was about my identity. As a Malawian, I was raised to be proud of my people and my country. Because for us, there are only two kinds of people in this world, Malawians and everyone else. <laughs> but when I came to the US, I realized I'm one more thing, black. The U.S. taught me I was black before my ethnicity, my Christian beliefs, even before my crazy jokes. I found out people would view me as a black man before any other identity, which meant that people saw me with certain stereotypes that I didn't even know about. Sometimes I would sit in class, and if I didn't know anyone, the seats to my left or right would be the last ones to be filled. And there were a couple of times I was the last person to be chosen for a group project. Later, I found out these experiences were not unique to me. Many, many of my friends who are also student of, students of color echoed similar experiences. These behaviors are challenging and depressing to deal with. However, I'm proud of our class and what we did to address this problem. We did things such as class walkouts, we did protests, we did petitions, and even dedicated our time to be on committees to demand change from our school. We asked our school to do better and pay attention to the way it treats its minority students. And although we are still behind in some areas, I'm glad to see the school making progress in some of these issues. I'm happy to see things like the establishment of the social justice hub on campus, the provision of funds to activist organizations, and even the promotion of diversity and inclusion on campus. But for us graduates, do not let this be the end. Today I urge you to continue fighting to end stereotypes and prejudices to continue advocating against systematic racism in the spaces we all share. I urge you to fight for justice and equality in our next destination. This year was the year of many firsts. Because if in January of last year, someone would have told me that we would stop hugging people, stop shaking hands, and no longer be able to leave our homes, I would have told them, what are you talking about? Yet within two weeks, these things did happen, and we were all forced to adapt. Some of you went home by plane, bus, or car, and took classes in the comfort of your family, Others stayed in Madison, far away from family, but at least in the proper time zone. <laughs> I was unable to return home, and like many of you, I adapted. My studio apartment turned to an office, a restaurant, a bar, <laughs> and a gym. Doing this took a toll on all of us, especially that one professor who kept on muting himself by accident. <laughs> but we made it. And some of us are even here in person in Camp Rando. Whether you're here or watching at home, let's give ourselves a round of applause. Yes, we deserve one. UW-Madison has allowed us to thrive and asked us to be a better version of ourselves. 
It has given us a lot of memories to cherish and remember. And if you ask me, I wouldn't have had it in any other way. Congratulations, class of 2021. We deserve to celebrate and enjoy. This is our day. Go Badgers!